Welcome back to Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in Santa's workshop, which is still kind of a disaster, but hey, I have made vast improvements, I like to think. Let's get these presents hosed off. Called a tree skirt, not a Christmas tree rug, you silly goose. I love that my uh, parents still use the the one that was handmade by my late grandmother. Yeah, I think my brother might have bought this game entirely because I happened to mention in passing that they were doing the, uh, the Back to the Future deals. One of his favorite movies ever. Because I mentioned to him, because I know it's one of his favorite movies, so I mentioned to him, hey, they're doing this, and... Look, you can clean off the, 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 the th movie theater where the shark tried to eat uh, Marty. Send a screenshot from the preview. And, uh... Then, a couple days later, he just shows up on Steam playing the game, and I find myself wondering... Oh, if you've been watching Let's Play Alan Wake 2, uh, it is the same brother who's uh, helped me with those uh, math puzzles. convinced myself at a very early age that I was terrible at math, and uh, tend to freeze up when the questions are posed to me. Especially when I'm recording and I feel like there's a whole bunch of people just staring at me. Oh no. quickly that paper dries. It doesn't even get torn away or anything. How are we going to open these presents? every one of these lights hmm. most of the lights I've seen these days are uh, made of glass Sorry, no, I said I said glass because I was looking at the word glass but I actually meant that it's uh most of the lights I've seen, you know, in the last couple decades are, uh, made of plastic, rather. Oh, it's doing that thing again. Uh, dirt details. Here it is. Ugh. 
What? There we go. Soot. Yeah, that just keeps disappearing for some reason. When these presents disappeared in the background. High Top Fade suspected a fault on one of their planes and was about to give it a test flight when Ivor came skipping into the workshop, carrying their box of secrets. Distracted, High Top Fade launched their plane across the room, where, in a one in a million shot, it wedged itself deep in the mechanism of the present wrapping machine. Is that this one, the decoration machine? Apropos of nothing, no, like, civilians ever see this box. It's just a box that they use to hold the presents in before they load them into the sleigh. And yet I love that they made it look like a Christmas present anyway. Like a giant present. There we go. I mean, realistically, I could take these things out of the fucking box, I'm just saying. more useful than I thought it was. The spinny one. Alright, I think I got all the presents in the present box. But not these ones. Oh my. There was another present next to this one. You know, even though it's this game, I am kind of surprised it's not playing Christmas music at me. Yeah, pardon me a moment. 
Okay, there. Sorry about that. I needed to take care of something. That one was unrelated. Exit door seems important. Oh, it's snowing outside. Oh, it's lovely out there. There's a pine forest and everything. Let's not get too close to the window. If I get all the way up to the window, I can see the end of the world. How come I didn't notice that before? Oh, there's no window or windows in the other door. Oh, right. This would be right on the edge of the building, and it's probably located on a, you know, a cliff or something, because this is the takeoff spot. Okay, you can now open the door handle without getting covered in mint ice cream. It does mildly bug me that I didn't notice a present wrapping machine. Unless that's what the decoration machine is. It seemed to be like that. Shouldn't there have been a plane sticking out of it somewhere? Look how clean these tiles look now. Sorry about that. I remember the year I did Haunt the House, the Christmas level. I thought that was very funny, playing a Halloween game for Christmas, because they made a Christmas level. I remember that that was the year that... I guess that was probably 2020? Because that would have been the year that I played it on Halloween Day, because whatever... Because that's right, because I got delayed in, uh... Didn't I? With, uh... Prince of Persia. I actually couldn't start the Halloween game on Halloween, before Halloween, so... On Halloween Day, yeah, I made up for it by, uh... Playing this miniature horror game. <laughs> what was it really a horror game? It was a cute and cheery game about horrifying people.
Nice. Oh. oh! This isn't the entrance entry. No. Also, it looks like the machine... If this is that machine, it looks like the toys flow directly into this machine, so there wouldn't be an entrance port. Unless that's not what he said. Uh, no, deep in the mechanism of the present wrapping machine. Jeez, there's more bunting here, and I couldn't even tell. Yeah, it's gone again to stop telling me that it's soot, as opposed to black mold, but at least there's that. That's a nice rug. And to no one's surprise, the uh, mat at the entrance to the uh, workshop of the cheeriest person in the world says, Welcome. How weird would it be if it said, Hail Satan, instead? Go. Spelling errors lead to tragedy as children accidentally write letters to Satan. And then it mentions one kid who uh, wrote, Screw you, you're probably not even real anyway. And, uh, Received a pet hellhound because Hayton was impressed by that. Not a sentence, I usually say. Hey, this isn't a door, is it? No, it's a Vardo wall. There was also an elf-shaped splatter all over the uh, employee entrance, like someone got caught right in the face as soon as he walked in the door. Or they, apparently. There you go. Get those shelves nice and clean. I was hoping I could make 50%, but, uh, 47 isn't that bad. In fact, he's the greatest assassin in the world! <laughs> Even I regret that one. Mostly because of the weird laugh. It would be really funny if there was an elf splatter on the ceiling, though, I will say that. 
someone just got caught right in the face with like strawberry ice cream and propelled up into the ceiling before he came down again. Oh dear. Aha! Uh -huh. What's this gunk anyway? Is that just soot? Ah, it's very precise. Yeah, that's soot. It just looks different when it's built up on top of something. Okay, okay, I didn't push it up in any percentages, but that's fine. Well, in any event. I'm Burning Dog Face. I hope you're having a lovely holiday. having a Merry Christmas, and something I should have said before, you know, if you don't celebrate, I hope you're having a great day, too. My apologies for forgetting that part. This place looks almost functional again. <laughs> On a side note, I'm really impressed by whatever my boots are made of, that I'm not just uh, making squishy noises as in getting stuck as I'm walking through here. <laughs> well, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'm not actually sure whether the next time I see you will be in more Power Wash Simulator or in uh, Alan Wake 2. But either way, or whatever happens, have yourselves a good day, and be well. Later!